bit of faith break, encouragement that we all need. And this morning's faith break kind of comes on the heels of, um, of the sermon from Sunday. If you remember, I, I talked about Gideon leading God's army against this vast armies, this huge, as thick as locusts, Scripture said. And in chapter 7 of Judges, we read about how Gideon um, went out with 32,000 men, but God whittled that down to 300 men that he wanted to, Gideon to use, and then uses those 300 men to kind of uh, bring victory and rout the armies that are before them. Here's what, here's what happened um, after those events, the chapter 22 of chapter 8 in Judges. The men of Israel said to Gideon, rule over us, you and your sons and your grandson also, for you have saved us, you have saved us from the hand of Midian. They're, they're looking at Gideon as the Savior, as the victor, not the Lord. And Gideon said to them, I will not rule over you, and my son will not rule over you. The Lord will rule over you. And so Gideon turns their hearts and their minds, their eyes to the Lord. Now Gideon was a, had, a, had, had a lot of faults. <laughs> he wasn't perfect. But he, here we see Gideon turning the people of God back to God. Uh, but what we find out is, is it, again, it didn't go well. At the end, when Gideon dies, chapter 8, verse 33, Gideon died and the people of Israel turned again and whored after the Baals and made Baal Bereth their God. And the people of Israel did not remember the Lord their God who had delivered them from the hand of all their enemies on every side. And as I was thinking about that story, I was thinking about again about how, how fickle we are and how, how, quick we, how quick we are to turn away, how quick we are to turn away from uh, the goodness of God. Uh, we, we witness God's work in and around us at times, and, 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 we, and we really come to, to, to say, Lord, thank you, praise you, um, as, as the armies celebrated their victories, and yet we're quick to turn away. But what we also see in Scripture is we have a God who is so faithful, who loves us, who is our victory and our salvation. In Joel, the prophet Joel says this, Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. You see, though the story of Scripture that we read is, is uh, how fickle and unfaithful we are, the true story of Scripture is that God is faithful. God is faithful, and he loves you. And it's why we erupt in praise. And so let's turn our hearts and our minds and our lives back to this awesome God who is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love.